There we go. All right, so welcome to the first Astronomy Club meeting of the semester. Um, I see returning people and new people, so welcome to everybody. Um, that's Carter. <laughs> um, there are cookies in the back. Please eat them. Um, it's kind of a tradition to bring baked goods, so that's why they exist. But see, if you don't eat them, you force those of us who actively use the Astronomy Club office to eat all of them. And please, please don't do that. That's just mean. It is mean. It's really mean. <laughs> um, red velvet. Hello. Have cookies. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I meant that to be much more obvious. Um, so, um, as I stated in various emails, and I apologize for the um, metric tons of spam, but um, <laughs> as I stated in the emails, we'll be meeting every week at this time in this room. Uh, did anybody have trouble finding this room? I know Stuart can be a little... Um, so, just as a brief review of what we did this summer, we had eight current members, well, nine current members, but only eight of them were officially there at the um, meeting of the American Astronomical Society in Anchorage, Alaska in June, which was a lot of fun, despite the fact that it rained most of the time. Um, and also, two or three people at the Astronomical Society of the Pacific meeting this month. Um, and at both meetings we presented research that the club had done. Um, people presented individual research that they've done with their advisors or at a, an REU. Um, and also we presented some of the research that we've done and the activities we've done in astronomy education. And um, there was a lot of interest in that both at AAS and at ASP which was great. So we're going to continue all of that and and try to have a larger presence in the astronomy community in terms of what we do with astronomy education. Um, also, the Sabino Canyon Star Parties kept going for the most part, barring any monsoon rain. Um, and we are currently working on a feature for Astrobytes. Astrobytes is a website, uh, it's just astrobytes.org or .com, that takes a few interesting articles in the astronomy community refereed journal articles and summarizes them for people who don't have a PhD in the subject yet and posts those online. They also do features of um, students or um, occasionally programs or faculty um, and their intended audience is undergraduates. I think it's actually more graduate students at the moment, but their intended audience is undergraduates and they want to do a feature on us. So we are almost done writing that and hopefully that will be coming out soon. We just need to polish some of the drafts, but we'll, we'll be very not humble about it when that comes out. <laughs> it'll be all over the website. Um, so I just wanted to let you know about that because that's extremely exciting. Um, star parties, there will be lots. Um, I want to have a start of semester star party with the Astronomy Club, not for the public, um, which isn't to say the public isn't welcome, but it, it won't be like Sabino Canyon. Um, and we might do this jointly with SEDS or with the grad students, possibly, if they're interested in that. Um, and what we do is it's just potluck dinner. We go out to a dark site, usually a state park. Um, Catalina State Park is a very nice site, and they have, it's, it's also a campsite, so they have grills and that sort of thing, and um, just have dinner and talk and bring some telescopes and it's generally quite a lot of fun. Um, this weekend is a little too soon and next weekend is Labor Day. Would the weekend of September 8th and September 9th work for everybody? Cool. We will schedule that then. Um, the Sabino Canyon Star Parties, for e anybody who isn't familiar with them, um, they are free and open to the public. We put them on once a month out at Sabino Canyon, which is a, a nice, mostly dark site. Um, it's been getting lighter over the last decade or so, but it's still it's still quite nice. Um, we drive out there um, private vehicles, so if you have a car and want to bring them one, that would be great. 
but if you don't, don't worry about it. We can give you a ride. Um, we meet here at 4.30 to load up the telescopes and then drive out to Sabino and start the star party at about 5.30. And it's solar observing until sunset. And then after that, observing whatever objects we want to observe. We borrow telescopes from the department, but personal telescopes are also welcome. Question, has the issue with the police getting the telescope done? Yes. <laughs> yes, in theory. Yeah, um, yeah. Communication regarding yes. The so, we, everything we do with the star parties is legal, and everything, as far as we knew, was permitted, but the Sabino Canyon Forest Rangers decided they wanted us to have more permits. Um, so, at the end, we, we got kicked out twice over the course of the last year. But we've resolved everything. We have everything we need. We will bring as many permits as are physically necessary or more. Um, but I don't anticipate any problems this fall. This is kind of the same idea, but do you need a permit for the Catalina Star Party too? Because two years ago there was an issue with that too. Um, that wasn't a permitting issue. That was just being loud. <laughs> yeah, they complained about, the, about us being loud. But also they wanted they weren't sure we had paid to enter the park. Um, so we, it's five bucks a car. And I don't remember if we had paid or not, but <laughs> I, I was not in charge of that. I think we had. I think we had. Um, we would have to pay to enter Catalina State Park, yes. We don't pay to enter Sabino. Um, and there's a pizza dinner afterward just down the street from Sabino Canyon. Um, and the next one is Saturday, September 1st, which is not this weekend, but next. Um, who here is interested and able to go to that? <laughs> Excellent. Glad to hear it. Um, I say that we meet at, at Steward. We might not be able to next Saturday because there's a game. If there's not, if there's a game, we meet at an alternate location, but I... Have to check that. There you go. Um, I'll let you know where we're meeting for sure next week. More star parties. Um, in addition to doing these Sabino Canyon star parties and star parties for ourselves, we do free star parties for schools, um, usually elementary schools in the Tucson area, and we do private star parties, which are paid events, and we have two scheduled for this fall, which for anybody who was here last year is completely fantastic. Um, so the first is September 20th at 6.30 at Vita Lowe's Ventana Canyon Resort. Um, and there's a second on November 3rd. But we wanna have plenty of support for these star parties because they are paid events. We don't wanna show up with a skeleton crew. Um, and we will be wearing polos for those. If you don't have one, you can buy one or borrow one. Um, but for star parties that we put on for other people, um, I should say it helps to have a knowledge of the night sky and what is going on with each object. Um, but if you are not overly familiar with that, that's okay. There's plenty of ways to get familiar with it. Um, plenty of ways to familiarize yourself with the night sky, with what each object is physically doing or physically means or why it's interesting. Um, who here is able to help out with this first star party on September 20th? That's a Thursday night, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Maybe. Thank you. I'll pass around a sign-up sheet next week or the week after for that. Um, I don't want to pass it out now just because I don't want people to forget, frankly. But um, I'll, I'll keep reminding everybody. Fun activities. We do them, I swear. <laughs> uh, usually we have a movie night for the semester, once a month. Um, historically, it's been the third Friday of the month. Does that still work for everybody? Does that not work for somebody? All right. Um, I will say they started out as movies with bad science in them, and then they morphed into bad science 
movies are bad sci-fi movies, which is why Sharktopus is on the bottom right hand of the slide. <laughs> 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 that was a good one. Yep. Sharktopus was quite interesting. It, it was quality bad movie. <laughs> um, hmm? Okay. Yeah, same. Uh, okay. Okay. Um, I'm happy to continue the tradition of sci fi channel movies for that, unless somebody has suggestions that they want to make for those. Also, any clip of ancient aliens ever. <laughs> 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 yeah. No, the show is called Ancient Aliens. Oh. And <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah it was like Bad. a three minute Bad clip behavior. had. It's crazy. My God. It's so, <laughs> we'll find something very amusing to watch. Um, and those are usually held here. Not in this room, but in Steward. Frisbee and hiking. Um, it's still kind of warm for Frisbee, but we wanted to have two hiking trips. We have some dates in September, October, and November for anybody who's interested. So I'll pass around this sheet and just for the dates that work for you, put your name down and we'll choose two or three dates that work for everybody. We'll probably go up at least in September and October when it will still be warm. Um, probably go higher up towards Mount Lemmon, um, maybe Sabino Canyon if it's not too bad but um, above the tree line is better. Um, but November, Sabino Canyon's a really nice day hike, so we might do that. Um, so just put your name down if you're interested. Um, game nights, we don't do regularly, but we have a few every semester. And we have a Big Bang Theory game and a Star Trek version of Seen It and more normal games like Taboo and Yahtzee. <laughs> um, and also brought all these leftover games it's Who did? Sweet. Awesome. We'll have to <coughs> inventory those and see what he left. I don't know real life. Huh? He said, I don't know real life. It's the game of real life. I don't know that game. It's like the game of life, but more awesome with sex and drugs. <laughs> 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 Um, are there any games someone would like to suggest that we play? <laughs> it's not politically correct. Have you ever played Cards Against Humanity? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's the opposite apples except awful. <laughs> 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 it's a free party for horrible people. Yes. <laughs> Interesting. You feel Perhaps bad when you laugh at it, but it's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> I will keep that in mind. <laughs> Okay. Um, astrophotography I mentioned last semester and then promptly got hit by a ton of bricks and didn't do anything about it. <laughs> um, we can do digital astrophotography and film. Um, digital is easier, but I'm also talking... It, I need to talk to the safety officer at Steward to determine um, whether or not we can basically create a darkroom here. We'd have to create our own. But it's... It, is a lot of time and effort, although we, I don't think we'd have to pay them, so not a huge amount of money, but we time... plenty of red lights, though. Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, time and effort to basically set up our own dark room, so I don't want to do it unless there's a lot of interest, but is anyone here interested in doing film astrophotography? Taking your own pictures, developing the negatives, doing your own prints, that sort of thing. <laughs> Second semester. Yes. Yeah. All right, I will keep that in mind. I might try to use, see if we can get access to one in the physics department, if Roger Hart is in a giving mood. <laughs> Thank you. Moving on, um, we have basically four projects, ongoing club projects that we do. Um, Two are very research heavy. One is a construction and instrumentation project, and one is outreach. Um, I highly encourage you to become involved in any or all that you're interested in, um, especially if you're an astronomy major looking to go to grad school. Um, getting involved in research as soon as possible is critical. It's very, very helpful. When did those get? Okay, fine. Um, I 
I told you. You told me it wasn't working. Yes, and then I didn't get rid of them just because the thumbnails are. All right. Um, so in no no particular order, um, we have the Exoplanet Project, which is, as the name implies, a project studying exoplanets. Um, there are mostly we study what are called hot Jupiters, which are planets the size approximately of Jupiter that are very close to their stars. Um, some are so close they're actually in the corona. And there's theoretically a way to detect magnetic fields with those planets. Um, that's actually, in fact, so theoretical that our paper doesn't so much use, a use the approved technique to study it as it tests whether the technique works or not to see if we can detect a magnetic field. Um, the other option which would be a new project this fall, is doing follow-up observations of exoplanets that have been discovered, but not really parameterized. Um, there were people have only published papers saying, hey, look, we found this planet, not, hey, look, we found this planet, and determined its mass, radius, um, composition, all of that. S with the Exoplanet Project, students are involved in all parts of the process, inc including proposing for telescope, time taking data, doing data reduction and analysis, and publishing papers. Uh, we have a paper out for review right now on a planet called Trust 3B. And also students present the research at um, meetings like AAS and stuff. Yes. It's really good. Yes. If you are interested in the Exoplanet Project, um, the person in charge of the project is Jake Turner, and he's not here today. He's still out of town, but you can email him at turner at email.arizona.edu or you can talk to Mandy, who will be happy to give you more information about it, and she has a sign-up sheet if you want to sign up for the project. We also have the Binocular Telescope Project, which is a project to construct a small binocular telescope inspired by the large binocular telescope. Um, it is in the final stages. I hope. <laughs> I didn't get a chance to go before, but I'm going to check with the machine shop after the meeting. Really okay. Um, so we're trying very hard to finish the telescope this semester and have a first light celebration this semester, which would be really cool. Um, and it would be an astronomy club telescope, so instead of borrowing telescopes from Stewart or anything like that, um, it would be ours that we could use. And the mirrors are, the primary mirrors are? 10 inches. 10 uh, inches. Which gives them an effective aperture of about 15 inches, I think. Okay. So which is very cool for a small portable telescope that we constructed yeah. ourselves. Um, the access to our eight inches and nine inches will be a desk to upgrade. <laughs> yep. And maybe you can pass around the sheet and have people sign up there mm -hmm. and then I can email them so we can figure out a means to pass. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, outreach materials, which is more of a group than a project. Um, thank you. The Outreach Materials Group develops and implements activities and curricula. We don't, as Astronomy Club, we don't do a lot of going into classrooms during the day and leading a module or something like that. There are groups that do that, but um, that's not what we focus on generally. Usually we do evening things, um, star parties or star parties plus activities at a science night for a school. Um, and then we also have events at Biosphere 2 and the Mars Science Lander exhibit at science, science Downtown. And we're working on making a four credit course out of this. Um, one credit of independent study requires about three hours of work a week, which is not a lot. So if you're interested in getting credit for basically being in the astronomy club, <laughs> um, if you do outreach, this for this course, um, the way we've designed it, in order to get credit, you would need to attend the weekly meetings of the outreach group and do two or three star parties a semester. And that would get you probably your, your necessary hours for that one credit. Um, so if you are interested in that, I have a sign up form here, or you can talk to Allie of the red hair. <laughs> Other, this is, I'm, my name is Allison, her name is Allison. We have to find a way to distinguish. <laughs> um, but I'll pass around the sign-up form as well. And finally, the radio project, um, which is our other um, heavily researched project. Um, last semester, we 
we're doing follow-up observations on what are called cold cores, which are very cold, dusty regions of gas and, and dust, obviously, um, <laughs> that were actually discovered in a survey that's trying to look at the cosmic microwave background, but since these clouds radiate at very similar wavelengths, um, everyone who wants to look at the CMB is very annoyed because we have to get rid of this horrible foreground stuff. Um, but a lot of radio astronomers are interested in these clouds for their own sake. Um, for those of you involved in the project last year, things were going slowly because we don't know exactly where the emission peaks up in each region. And what Yancey would like to do is um, do some observations with the JCMT in Hawaii using the scuba camera so that if we need to do observations with the 12 meter we have a much better idea of where we need to look and that'll make things go a lot faster. And we also want to do it on the 7 millimeter telescope yeah. instead of the 12 meter because it has a lot better <laughs> resolution. It's pretty. Yes, true enough. Yeah, it's yeah. been subscribed open, all summer. Open a couple days ago and it's back yeah. <laughs> yep. We lost a lot of time. We lost a lot of time. <laughs> we lost a lot of time. Yeah. Um, Are we going to get any of that time back? No. I don't know. Um, so the thing about this project is that the the current proposal period wouldn't allocate time until spring of 2013. So we couldn't do the project this fall. Um, what Yancey's proposed is that we continue with a previous project that Astronomy Club did. There's a survey in the C2, or sorry, the CS2 to 1 transition, and he's proposing we go back and look at all of those objects in another line, um, which allows for quite a bit of astrochemistry, which is something of a complicated endeavor, but long story it's short, really cool. it's really cool and you can get a lot of really cool information about the objects out of that um, and then publish those results over the course of the next year, which is actually really incredible to, to publish as an undergrad if you're not publishing a senior thesis. Um, it's a very great thing to do and the project is a very interesting project and for all of these projects you don't need to know a ton about we astronomy. Don't need to know anything at this start. We can. <laughs> we teach you. you. I knew nothing starting out. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then just a few random things before we end. And I apologize. I know this is a really long presentation, but it's the start of this semester. I promise the other ones will not be this long. Um, Stewart has some very interesting opportunities for undergrads. In addition to just talking to your advisor about research or um, getting involved in, in a group at Steward, I would recommend attending the colloquia if you can. They're just hour-long talks, invited talks, uh, once a week, and there are snacks at 3.30. They're Thursdays at 4 in N210, which is that big auditorium classroom. Um, starting Thursday, September 6th, there are snacks at 3.30 in the lobby. Far be it for me to say that they bribe people to come, but, you know, free food. Um, but also, I believe this will be continuing this semester. At 3.30 in the interaction area, which is this little kitchen thing over here, um, one of the professors will discuss with anybody who wants to know um, a little bit more about the topic that's going to be presented on. So if you're an undergrad and you don't know the fine details of the specific topic that's going to be, um, that the presenter will be discussing. You can just go to this um, little informal meeting, ask questions, you'll get a bit of a background on the subject before you go and listen to someone discuss it in detail. Also, for the women, sorry guys, but for the women, um, there's Women's Science Forum, which is a mentor program with the female graduate students and the female undergrads. So if you're interested in just learning a bit more about what being in astronomy is like, or science, or grad school, um, or you just need somebody to talk to because college is hard and it's a hard transition, if, um, then I would highly recommend joining the Women's Science Forum. And for everybody, there's 
a liquid nitrogen ice cream social on Wednesday, September 12th at 4.30 p.m. Um, I don't know the location yet, but I will announce it as when I you know say it. you everybody. I mean everybody. <laughs> everybody who wants liquid nitrogen ice cream can go to that. Yeah, it is. It is. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> um, we have member pages. I'm not going to push this a lot right now, but if you're already a member of the club and you don't have a member page, you should get one. <laughs> hmm? Write something we, about yourself. We, we post. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so if you go to members on the website, um, there's a drop down menu of me, Kevin, and Allison. Um, and so those are three examples you can look at. It's just like a short bio, maybe a picture. Yeah, I don't have a picture because I don't. Yes, I think Kevin, Kevin will be a will member always for always. Be an honorary, honorary yes. member. He's going to be the the guy that, you know, twenty years they're going to be afraid to delete the page because we still don't know how important he is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So this is Kevin's page. Just a short description. Um, it's more about the work that you're doing here, but also a bit of personal information, as you can see. And. Double AS pictures or other presentation pictures, or if you're me, no picture. Um, so, for anybody, well, for everybody, dues are $10 a semester. They go towards projects and club events and occasionally trips to conferences. C, CT to pay dues. He's the treasurer, he collects the money, so pay him. <laughs> um, and you, if you haven't, please fill out a membership form at uaastroclub.org slash members. Um, that's, it's just right there on the website. Um, you can fill out. And that's it. Um, we will try to have research presentations with some regularity. Enough of us did research last semester that we can do that, but they won't start for a couple of weeks, probably. One more thing. Hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So yeah, um, along the lines of Allison's outreach with the credit, 